What's going on guys? Welcome back. Madden 16 PS4. Do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section, Twitter, shut down safety is my username. Take a look at the set speed. To me, the defensive back wide receiver animations have to go back to singles. The tandem animations I think we've seen this year, whether it's aggressive catches or not, are absolutely horrid. Uh, and this is a great example as to why. Whether you're a fan of the offense or defense, this doesn't make sense. Uh, to a degree, I understand a lot of people will say I shouldn't be trying to exploit Darrell Rivas, but I've got a young receiver, a tall receiver in Alshon Jeffrey, and I feel like he can get the job done with the scenario I'm attempting it. You can see here, I'm running a play action. I've got one safety over the top. He's biting on the play action, putting Jeffrey one-on-one. -on -one. In the NFL, you have to take advantage of one-on-one -on -one matchups. Darrell Revis or no Darrell Revis, height is height. And that's what I'm trying to take advantage of. I'm trying to throw this ball to the end zone out of the back of it to where Jeffrey's either going to catch it or Revis isn't. The problem is with this game, these animations have to trigger. And just to show you how these animations damage the game, watch Revis's legs here. I'm going to back it up. Look at this. I mean, this is what the game has to do to get these players where it needs them to be. I mean, this is breaking every ankle and knee bone in Revis's body. And whether you side on the receiver or you side on Revis, this doesn't make any sense, okay? They're starting this catch animation at the goal line, mind you, okay? So Revis is actually ahead of Jeffrey, so he should be playing back inside. He should try to command where Jeffrey's body can go to prevent him from catching the pass, or at least get his hand in between Jeffrey so that he can't come down with the ball. And when the animation starts, it's honestly ironic to me that that's exactly what happens. So now you can see Jeffrey has caught right back up because, as we know, Revis has shifted back into position. So you're telling me that Darrell Revis, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, maybe in the history of the NFL, is going to have his arm in between the hands of Alshon Jeffrey knowing a touchdown pass is on the line. And rather than keep his hand there, to try to strip the ball out if it's caught, or at least try to knock the ball out before it's caught. You mean to tell me his hand is gonna go through Jeffrey's body so that he can pat him on the shoulder while he completes a touchdown catch? I mean, these are just things that don't happen. This is not how anyone is trained to play defensive back. You keep your hand there. That way you can dislodge or at least remove the ball if it is caught. You don't shift your hand through someone and hold their shoulder pad while they catch the ball in front of you. He doesn't make any attempt to deflect this ball. He doesn't make any attempt to play the ball. All he does is shift through Jeffrey so that he can catch this pass unevaded. And that is the zero risk reward of throwing touchdown passes in this game when there's no safety or other player to come over and aid in either tackling or deflecting the pass. It does not matter that that's Darrell Revis. It doesn't matter that it's all Sean Jeffrey for that matter. All that matters is this animation. And to me, that's just not football. It's just not football. No matter what I'm trying to do, no matter what the defense is trying to do, things like this should not play out in a video game because they don't play out on a football field that way. Love to know your opinions on it. Appreciate you checking it out. I'll be back in the week with more content.